So I know we've talked a lot about other aspects of manifestation already in just a short seven days, but I'm going to circle back around and we're going to start back from the beginning again. Only this time we're going to do it from the aspects of your chakras. Um, Welcome. If you're just joining me on day eight, there is a entire, should be a playlist or um, some way for you to go back to day one and uh, go through these 88 days to manifest your best life. And on day eight, we're going to circle back and we are now going to discuss uh, the root chakra. And if you all are not sure, like, what the chakras are, or if you've never heard of it before, think of it this way. Your chakras are energy centers in your body, okay? And they, because they're energy centers, they're not seen. So they're assumed to be there. They're assumed to be an operation um, in Eastern religions and spiritualities, also in Kemetic, um, Incan, uh, even in native indigenous uh, practices here in North America, certainly in South America, we will find that there is some reference to an energetic body or a spirit that exists within, around, uh, <laughs> within, without, all around, up and down um, your physical being. And that's actually what gives you life. So, I wanted to focus today on the root chakra and we're going to go through each of the seven chakras um, as we're going through this process over the next seven days. And the reason for that is because we need to get our energy that we set in motion or our emotions in alignment if and, and on a right frequency and a high vibrational frequency, if we want to manifest our best life or the life that we came here to have. Now, the root chakra. The root chakra is associated with feelings of safety, security, and stability. Okay. The root chakra is going to kind of govern the, the, the basic needs, right? So food, water, shelter, um, physical and emotional safety. Um, also the emotional need, um, to like let go of fear, right? So fear is a root and it's a root energy. It's a root chakra energy. And the need to let go of that fear in order to be able to function properly at a high level in the world is where we are aspiring to. So the root chakra then controls all of that. Okay. Now, why is it so important? Why am I starting with the root or our basic needs, wants, desires, the fear, uh, stability, all of that? Why am I starting there when we're talking about manifestation? When, you know, isn't it the fact that you just kind of go out here and you, 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 you visualize and you meditate and you do all of these things? And that all sounds like very high level, very ethereal, very spiritual things to do, right? And to some degree, you are correct. They are. And yes, does it initiate in the ether? Does it initiate in your spiritual realm? Or does the does the does manifestation start in your dreams? Absolutely. However, if we don't have a proper anchor here in the earth realm, it's never going to materialize. Why? Because there's nowhere for it to land. I want you to think of the material world kind of as a runway or think of it as just a ginormous, you know, sandbox, right? Or, or, or a ginormous like play area or construction zone where in order for something to come in and materialize, you have to have a stable foundation, right? We don't build houses without laying some level of foundation. In the upper Midwest, um, we actually dig out, right, basements, and then we pour the concrete in, and, you know, we create the foundation of the house that way. In other areas of the country here in the United States, you know, they kind of dig a a spot sort of not very deep. And then they'll put like a concrete slab um, into the ground or I'll pour concrete onto the ground and build the house from there. 
But in all cases, there's a foundation. And what happens for a lot of people that I have found over the course of time that I'm working with both individuals and working with entrepreneurs and, and helping people to heal various areas of their lives or start their businesses, what I have found more than nine times out of 10, we have a shaky foundation. We don't have proper, uh, we don't have anywhere for this to land. And so we have nowhere for this to materialize. And so we keep spinning our wheels, wanting to manifest, wanting to manifest, but yet we don't have a proper place for that to occur. And that's because a lot of our basic needs haven't been met yet necessarily, or we don't feel stable in that. And the way you feel stable in that is then, honestly, we just kind of start to manifest that. And so that we're not worried for that. Even in the Bible, it talks about, you know, that the birds of the air and the fish of the sea, right? They don't worry for anything. They don't wonder where their food is going to come from. They don't wonder if they're going to have a place to lay their head or to rest, right? They just know that everything is provided for them. And and the, as the story goes, right, as the, the quotation from Jesus is, or was, um, it is that we then, and why would we be worried that we're not going to be taken care of? Well, that in and of itself is like such a deep metaphysical statement to make that when you get out of this energy of worry, of doubt, of concern, of all of those things, when you get out of fear, it is amazing what begins to happen in your life because you are operating then at a higher vibration where you're not worried that God, the universe, love, source, spirit, that that the, the controlling, so to speak, energy that um, creates life and sustenance, that you are not worried that that energy is not going to show up for you in every basic way that you need. So this is the very first thing that we need to do is really get into our root chakra and see what's going on. I mean, if you're feeling unstable in any area, then I'm going to recommend to you, you do something called grounding, right? And what is grounding? Grounding is not the one thing that, well, it probably is the one thing that a lot of spiritual people hate to do, but grounding is really getting settled in the fact that you are always going to be taken care of, that, that, your basic needs, their grounded needs, your roots are strong and you're okay. Everything's fine. Okay. So we need to find out why we're not feeling safe, why we're not grounded, why we remain in worry, because the more you remain in worry, the more you push away all of your blessings and everything you're trying to manifest, because you're basically saying, I don't believe that it's going to be real, that it's going to be quote unquote real and come into my life. Okay. All right. I hope this has helped you. If it has, I want you to leave some comments below about what areas are you still feeling not stable in? Okay. What are the areas you are not feeling stable in? Where areas are you still feeling unsafe? Where did this come from? This is all kind of that shadow work conversation we've had from time to time. Okay, so that's what I want you guys to do. Leave me some comments and then I want you to, you know, seek out some meditations and some healing energy for your root chakra and things like that. That's going to begin to help you. Wearing red, eating red foods, that kind of thing begins to help that as well. All right. Until next time. Oh, don't forget to do the things like sh share, follow, like, subscribe all that kind of great stuff. Okay. But until I see you next time, never forget, give permission to your purpose to provide for your person. See you tomorrow. Bye.